Hello everyone, welcome back to Firebird Plays FTL, and you know the drill already, we're going to be jumping in with the Taurus, the Engie Cruiser. I'm hoping that someone will soon recommend a name for the ship so that we can rename it. If you've got anything in mind that is age appropriate, please leave it in the comment below. Renamed our crew, Arfie, Styles, RJ, and J. Mikel. Everything else is as per our last couple runs, and we're going to jump straight into it. You may have noticed something a little bit different with today's video, and that is that I do have a new microphone. So that should be good news for you, uh, unless you've now realised that you don't actually like my voice after all. At which point I guess it's not good news for either of us. Um, but yeah, I picked up a new microphone, so hopefully the voice quality is a little bit better now. Um, and you guys enjoy, enjoy the content a little bit more. I thought it was a, a worthwhile investment. I will look forward to your feedback on that below. We have been boarded early by a Rockman, but we're going to have to take him out even though we're going to be able to wipe out their ship. So we'll just wait till we clean him up, uh, and then we'll get everyone back to their stations. We only took the one bit of damage there as well, so not too bad. Why not check to pull our guy out a bit so that he switches the aggro. And we can send him back in. Playing with fire a little bit there, but I, I was pretty confident that we weren't going to have any issues, so... Pick up a little bit of scrap, not bad for our well, second station. Um, we couldn't really do anything with the first one because we didn't have enough missiles, and we don't plan to either. So all things considered, our last couple of runs, I'm pretty happy with how everything's gone up until the final battle. Um, so I'm probably going to look for something similar in terms of setup again. Obviously we'll try to get cloaking as soon as we can and upgrade our shields a couple of times. Um, and then keeping the ion blast, getting a, a flak cannon of some kind, and a beam as well. Seems to have really helped us in our in our recent runs. Different this time, I'm going to pick up uh, level 2 and maybe even level 3 oxygen. Since that's been our downfall in the last two fights, is having no oxygen on the ship. So if we can allow oxygen to uh, recover quicker when it's not being hacked, then we can probably ensure that we don't go from 8 crew members down to 2 like we did last time. Uh, we're going to try pick up teleporting again with a mantis or two because that seemed to really help with reducing the damage we took in the first couple of fights. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, other than that, it's just going to be getting as much scrap as we can, as many crew members as we can, leveling them up appropriately. Um, and if we do get a random event that allows us to unlock a new ship, then we'll obviously do that. But the goal will be to beat the flagship with our Engi Cruiser and unlock the next ship in line. We've been stuck on this one for a while now. Um, this is a really good offer. We're going to pick up 8 missiles, which we'll be able to trade with. We pick up the automated reloader for faster weapon time. We pick up 6 fuel and 27 scrap, so we will accept that. Yeah, I'm, I'm conscious of the fact that we've been running this ship for a bit. I know every run in FTL is different, and that is why it's one of my favorite games. Um, but I'm pretty eager to get this new ship underway so that we can start to mix things up a little bit. Gonna switch between weapons and shields as we make sure that they don't do any damage to us. We don't really want our shields going down because then their little beam, oh sorry, their little drone might actually do some damage to us. But no real threat here, as expected in the first sector. I know a lot of the guys who watch these videos are uh, quite experienced in the game. We're gonna dock and try to rescue the survivors, and we pick up a match. It's cool. Um, I'm quite experienced in this game, but I hope for any new players out there that are sort of finding their way around FTL, I hope some of these videos have been interesting. Because looking back, I, I was looking the other day, uh, we could send an away party to investigate. Picked up a quest marker. Um, I was looking at the first couple of videos the other day, and I was a lot. Uh, I made I made worse decisions. I made a lot more mistakes. So I, I've really improved largely in part to the comments that have um, been left on these videos. So I hope uh, the combination of reading the comments on my videos and watching me apply them to my game style have helped you guys get better at FTL. For those who 
uh, sort of newer to the game, as I said, um, because obviously that's kind of part of the reason I do it is to help people, uh, part of the reason I do it is to have fun, and part of the reason I do it is to get better myself, which I can at least tick that one off the list. I'm pretty happy to say that I've gotten a lot better from where I was before. Um, still chasing that elusive first win, but we're not far off, I can tell. Um, but I hope that the videos are staying entertaining and helpful as well. So please do keep leaving me comments. I love seeing them. I love, uh, I've got the, the YouTube uh, studio app on my phone. So I love getting the push notification that you guys have sent me a, a comment or something like that. I can't wait to sort of take your feedback on board uh, and then apply it in the next video. I love to reply. I love to sort of engage with you guys. So if you have been leaving comments, please do. If you watch my videos and you don't leave comments, please do. Makes it a lot more enjoyable. Alrighty, so this is going to be quite a tough fight. Um, they do have boarding, so we're going to have to send our Mantis to deal with that. And he's targeting our oxygen. With just our drone and eye on it, it's actually going to be really hard to win this fight, so we might actually have to jump away. Um, we'll charge up our beam and see how we go. I, I just can't see us getting their shield down. So we kill their crew member, which is good. Um, we're going to open up the doors here so that we can get this fire out before it spreads to any of the other rooms. We have managed to get their shields down now, so this is actually going well, even though we're taking an enormous amount of damage. Uh, their FTL has gone down, our shields are still in okay shape, even though we've just got the one level. I'm gonna switch the weapon onto their, switch the iron onto their weapons now, just to make sure we don't take any more damage, because their weapons are quite scary. We have lost doors, so I'm not going to be able to get oxygen back in there yet, but we're going to pick up this fight, which is good. We did get down to half our hull, so I'm not too happy about that. Scrap the wreckage, and we picked up another crew member. That's probably worth it. Um, pretty good quest, pretty good outcome. Having five crew members this early in the run is really good. Get these doors back up and running so that we can get oxygen back out throughout the ship. Um, I'm, I'm probably, unless we have a store nearby and we can pick up another weapon, I'm probably going to go ahead with the level 2 uh, shield upgrades. Should look at stores. So Nausea, our new crew member, I don't think she's skilled in anything. We're going to leave her on uh, doors to help with borders for now. Um, and we'll see how we go with that. Probably going to be pretty close to getting out of here, but I'm not going to have any issues as long as I go this way. So after this jump, if I can't see a store, I'm going to do the shield upgrade. Pick up an anti-combat drone, that's pretty good. Probably going to end up selling it. Um, so if we run a similar build as last time, we're not going to have the reactor power to power this many drones anyway. We're going to get caught out here, I think. We're going to get in a fight, which I'm pretty unhappy about. We're definitely going to need level 2 shields at the minimum. Um, and I'm probably going to pick up a bit of extra engine power too so that we can charge and escape. Is that right? Yep, yeah, I can still use the combat drone that way. We'll go with that. Um, I don't know. Hope we somehow get a weapon on one of these beacons, but it's pretty unlikely. Um, and we're going to have to get in a fire at the exit, which isn't the best considering we're down to half health, but we should be okay. We'll just take out their weapons first. Uh, the engine's taking a bit of a hit from our combat drone as well, which is good. We're up to 16 missiles now, which is really good. So we're going to have an opportunity to trade um, for better resources, which will be good. Didn't pick up a weapon. Going to get in a fight. Let's hope for the best here. I'm going to depower the med bay. Put the extra point in the engine. Hopefully our charge time is going to allow us to get out of here. Let's see how we go. I mean, this isn't too dissimilar to the ship that we fought earlier. It's just that the ship that we fought earlier did a lot of damage to our hull. And here we are um, with half health, so I'm not too happy about it. We have taken down their oxygen with a lucky hit, which is good. And their shields now seem to be down. And we've done a little bit of damage to them as well. We might not have to run. We'll wait and see. We're up to half charge on our FTL. Luckily that missile just missed. I'm going to keep ironing uh, the weapons. 
We don't need to do the shield actually now, now that it's fully repaired, otherwise we're not going to be able to do any damage with our combat drone. Get the hit away here. Unfortunately that missed, but we do have the option now to jump, so I'm not too I'm not feeling too threatened, even though they do have a really scary missile that I probably need to hit again with the ion just to be safe. We've taken down their oxygen, we've taken down their piloting as well. And they're down to this three hole now. And we look like we're gonna be able to get away with a win here. So I think we just pick up fuel one fuel for it, but the good thing is we didn't take any damage, we got lucky with the missile miss, and we're gonna be able to get out of the sector. Uncharted Nebula, whichever way we look at it, but at least this way we have the choice of a hostile sector, so we'll go with that one. Still straight off the bat, we don't really have the scrap to buy anything um, of interest. Maybe it's worth us picking up a few points in hull while it's cheap earlier on. Picking up a slug would be cool. I'm going to sell the anti-combat drone. Um, do we want another weapon? No. We could grab the slug. Let's grab the slug. Heal up our hull a little bit. Put the slug in drone control. Which gives us a benefit in sensors, which is good. So we'll keep him up there, that's good. And it's gonna come in handy with the nebula, so that's part of why I did it, because uh, there's a good chance we'll lose our, we'll lose reactor power in the sensor. So it makes sense to grab the slug, and we're up to uh, six crew members now too. Did take a hit there uh, from the missile, unfortunately. Do a couple of hits actually, um, but we're going to be able to take them down now. Preferably without another shot. Yeah. So we took two damage there. Picked up 26 scrap and a drone part. Going to be able to get to one more sector before we jump to the store, um, and then it's going to get really messy as we go through the nebula. Beam would be really cool to pick up. Um, does require three power though. I'd probably rather pick up a beam that will require two. Don't mind the beam drone actually. That's something different from last time I think. I'm gonna pick that up. I think that'll allow us to do even more damage when we're running the, the double shield takedown by picking up a flak weapon. I have to jump to this beacon and then probably hit a bunch of the cluster up here. Um, oh no, the rebel fleet was prepared for this nebula, so it won't be an effective hiding spot. So we're not actually going to have the benefit of the reduced jump time. Let's chase them. Fleet pursuit doubled for one jump. Because they got away. Okay. That's pretty big. Uh, so we're going to miss out on a a beacon or two in this sector, unfortunately. And we're not really hitting much luck. <laughs> I haven't really had any opportunity to make any scrap. The last few beacon. And we've hit a couple of stores as well. So it's been a pretty unsuccessful... Okay, we're going to have a Mantis boarding. We're going to send our Mantis to deal with it. Uh, I missed the first time, landed the second time, luckily their weapons missed as well. Need to get Arfi out of there, just in time, I think they beam their guy back anyway. Um, let's put a point in the med base, Arfi can heal up and we're going to win the fight, pretty comfortably. 23 scraps are not terrible, not great, um, I'm going to be able to get to these I think I'll only be able to get to two of them before the exit, so let's go to this one here in the corner. It was really kind of just a coin flip which one we went for. Um, a rock armored transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings. Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant. We seek no aid. Leave now. I don't like being insulted. 
probably not the best fight for us to take. Um, we don't have the reactor power. Actually, just going to leave, I reckon. I know it would have been good to get in a fight there, but I didn't like that we were down so much on our reactor power. And no scrap here either, so a really unsuccessful sector, all things considered. We might get a little bit here on the exit, but no. So that was quite bad. We're going to go to the hostile sector here. Um, this will be a good opportunity for us to get in a few fights and make a bit of scrap. We'll jump to these two, maybe even three before going to the store, I reckon. we got a couple of intimidating looking weapons, and once we get the shield down, I'm going to put a couple of ion blasts onto their weapon just to slow down their attack efforts. Yep, one of the weapons went down, and the other one just hit our shield. Looking forward to getting a second weapon that actually does damage, like the last couple of games where we've had the beam. Obviously it's a bit repetitive just hitting shields with the ion and letting the combat drone do the rest. Probably thinking of putting another point in drone soon so that we can have the combat and the beam drone out there. And we take down the pirate scout without taking any damage. 27 scrap, not too bad. I'm going to jump to these two more sectors before we go to the store. Don't think we'll have a chance of getting enough to get cloaking. We pick up nothing from that sector either. I need to get a little bit of fuel at the store as well, so we'll probably buy whatever they have. We've taken down their weapons, and we're going to get a hit off on the shield here. Yep, with the ions, that's good. They're resisting a little bit with our drone, that's okay. As long as I can keep the shields down, we should be able to take them out. They're now without oxygen as well, which is obviously a bit of a priority for them. Even though they're rockmen, they're trying to fix it up. I guess that's just the way they're programmed. And our Mantis, what have I been doing? Our Mantis hasn't been at his station. Um, there's no fuel in that office, so we're not going to accept it. We've already got more missiles than we will need. Save these stations, make sure I send everyone back next time. Hopefully we get a bit of uh, fuel for picking them up. We don't, but we get more scraps. That's okay, we're up to 89. Actually going to be able to get to these two and then hit, hit this store instead, I reckon. Let's do that. Give ourselves a chance to get more scrap. I uh, probably should have healed up our shields before moving to the next sector. That wasn't the smartest thing I've done. Shields are nearly back up. Shields are now back up. Weapons back online. Okay, we're good. Meanwhile, they've been taking a lot of damage uh, due to the asteroids, and our level 2 shields mean they're not posing too much of a threat. So, yeah. If that was a later sector or a higher difficulty, we probably would have been in trouble, but as it was, we ended up to. Um, not put ourselves in too much danger. We pick up two fuel and 36 scrap as well, and we're getting really close to potentially being able to afford uh, cloaking. Just gonna quickly put a point in med bay, allow these guys to heal up a little bit. If we get enough for cloaking and we find cloaking, I'll probably take it. Um, the other option, of course, will be to pick up another weapon and we can start to power up our weapon system so that we can allow allow it to fit and be powered. So we'll jump to this beacon here, the last one before the store, see what we find. Another fight, this is good. This is why we picked the sector. We're now getting ourselves into fights and giving ourselves opportunity to earn some scrap. Missed two shots on the weapons, unfortunately, so they are going to probably get a couple of hits away on us. No, the last one did just land in time, but their shields are now back online. Iron seems to be missing a lot in this fight. They've got a hit away there, which was good. I like having the slug guy on board and, and seeing what they're doing. Um, it's going to come in handy when we get boarding as well later. Um, hopefully we can find a good Mantis crew member. I'm going to accept that just because of the... The six fuel, uh, we'd spend more than that anyway. 
So we're not going to have enough to get cloaking, but if we find ourselves a good weapon, either a flak or a beam, I'll be pretty happy. No. But I'll pick up the scrap recovery arm. And I might even pick up the drone recovery arm. They won't both fit. Um, I definitely want the scrap recovery arm because the earlier you pick that up, the sooner it pays for itself. So we're going to grab that. The question I'm asking myself in my head is whether I get rid of the 10% cooldown for automated reloader um, and make sure that we salvage our drone parts. I think I am going to do that. So let's sell that one off and pick up the drone recovery arm as well. And we'll grab a couple of fuel just to be really safe. I'm going to try and hit this Distress Beacon, maybe not, I think we'll just be able to get there and then come back out this way. Intruders on board, we'll get our, well, just an intruder, uh, we'll get our Mantis up here to deal with that. Shield will be the priority to take out since we're in an asteroid field. Uh, we'll probably get a couple of hits away on their weapon as well, just to make sure they don't have anything that can take down our own shield. Man, just actually took a little bit of damage there. Um, might send in the Angie to deal with him. Terrible offer for a surrender, not many resources at all. So we take them out, we pick up 40 scrap, good decision, which became 44 scrap due to the uh, recovery arm, put a point in heal base so these guys can heal while they're fighting. And we take down the last rock member. One can return to their station, probably get healed up while they're uh, sitting there. I'm gonna do the upgrade I reckon after we get out of the asteroid field to allow us to use both of our drones. Now that we don't have to worry as much about drone parts, I think that'll be a good time for that. Actually gonna speed things up a little bit by getting our Mantis into the med bay, and we can now jump out of here. We're gonna just get to this distress beacon and then be able to get out, which is good. It was a trap, okay. We're about to get boarded. So now Mantis in here to deal with that. We don't have enough power because I've got the med bay powered up. Now we can have the combat drone out there and start to work on the shield. Really don't want shields to go down. Um, our shields, that is, due to their beam. Four fuel is tempting, but 17 scrap isn't enough, so we're not going to accept it. We have killed one of their two crew members. Um, if we had boarding, we could definitely take the ship and pick up a big scrap prize, but that's not going to happen. Everyone can return to their stations because this fight is just about over. Should be targeting shields with my ion blast. And that's what you get for laying traps and pretending to be a distress beacon. You get annihilated. Two fuel, 27 scrap, wasn't the best outcome anyway, but... Without sending a message, which we did. Alright, let's pick up the extra drone and corresponding reactor power. Jump to this safe beacon, well, I say safe, safe from the, the wave, and then we'll be able to get out of here. Alrighty, we could attack the slavers, or we could pick up a engine guy. What's our engine guy on anyway? Kind of want to fight them. Um, 38 is quite cheap. So I reckon I'm going to buy him. And I'm going to make him our shields guy. Assuming Jones hasn't got too good at it, which he hasn't, no. And he's going to be our boarding, um, our boarding man once we pick up teleporting. So up to seven crew members now, which is good. Let's put a point into the med bay. Much better sector all round. Gave us a lot of uh, a lot of resources, which was good. We're up to thirty-five missiles, so hopefully we're going to find a station that allows us to uh, sell them for a, a large sum of scrap. That'd be good. And we can move now to the exit. Take the point out of med bay. Two fuel, five missiles, no, we have no need for that. And we'll jump to the next sector, which is pirate control. 
So more fights, hopefully, which would be good. Do need to pick up another weapon soon. Hopefully, we can find the store in our first couple of beacons. I'm going to go through this nebula. Um, because it'll slow them down, and then we'll cut back through this way, I think. That's a good plan. Prove our reactor for two of everything. It's pretty good. Puts us down to four fuel, but worth doing. Hopefully find fuel in the next three, or we're going to be stuck early on. Okay, we can start chipping away on their shield. Now we can get our two drones out as soon as their shield go down. Did just lose our beam drone, unfortunately. Might not actually send him back out, we probably won't need to. We'll take a tiny bit of damage, um, but as long as we can keep their shields down, I'm not too fast. Mantis, who is sitting there, can go and deal with this fight. Full fuel, uh, we're going to accept it because of the full fuel. 22 scrap isn't a lot this late in the run. We're sort of halfway through now towards the flagship, um, but the fuel is handy because I did put us down to seven by accepting that reactor deal. This guy can come in and help. So we're really at the stage now. Um, by the end of this sector, we want cloaking. Level 3 shield and a better weapon. Um, that's obviously been made more difficult by our second sector where we didn't pick up much scrap at all, but that was kind of just the RNG element of the game, so there's not a lot we could have done about that. Uh, I'm trying to work out if I want to go here before going through the nebula. I think I do. Nope, I definitely didn't. We pick up nothing. A lot of empty sectors, unfortunately. With our engines, we can attempt to outrun it. But I don't want to, even though it's a blue option. I want to actually fight. Especially since they don't have shields. So we're going to take a couple points out of... We're going to put ourselves down to one shield. Just put the one point in engines. We need a point in oxygen, obviously. Um, we'll put no points in the med bay. It should let us... No, we're going to need one more if we want the combat drone and the ion. What can I take something out of? Nothing, really. Um, could just take engines down completely, wipe them out. I think that's what I'm going to do. This way we can use ion blast continuously on their weapons, make sure we're not at risk of taking any damage, and our combat drone can do all the work. We're not charging, we can't escape, but I don't think we need to, even though their weapons did just do a lot of damage. Uh, I'm going to keep ironing those weapons so that they can't do so much damage. I think we took four damage just then, three or four, so this fight would be over by now if our drone didn't keep missing. But we take them out, so that would probably... I think a good way of playing it, especially picking up the 45 scrap, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we do now, to, now obviously need to put points back into the engine system and we can jump to the next part of the nebula. Thankfully reactor isn't impacted in this one, but we do have intruders on board. So we're going to get everyone down here, um, solve them out. This is why it's good that we've got the slug, because we can see where these guys are. Um, and our level 2 doors, by having them manned, mean that these guys will start to starve. They are going after the oxygen though, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to move our mantis down through this way, so that by the time they break through, they'll be half health anyway. We can probably win a 2 on 3 fight. I'm going to put a point in the med bay to make the fighting a little bit easier. Uh, I'll actually bring a third person up as well. I'm going to need to keep an eye on them, because I'll have to move out quickly once the oxygen disappears, which it just has, so let's get them into the med bay, where we can win the fight. I don't think there's anyone else left, let's close all the doors, these guys are healing up, and we can return to station. Annoying sector in that we can't, we don't really get rewarded for handling it well, which I think we just did, but that's just the way the game works, and there's not a lot we can do about that. I'm going to jump to this one, and then hit these four on the way out through here. I don't know why we keep getting 
This is quite an unlucky run in that we're getting all these trades to take missiles. We want to give away missiles and we want to get rewards for giving away missiles. Um, so we're not going to accept this because we're low on fuel. So I think out of all of the sort of NG cruises that we, runs that we've had, especially the ones where I've been playing well or better, um, this is definitely the most unlucky. All right, we can get our shields back to two and we can use both drones here. So we're gonna use our ion on their weapons. Get both drones out there to do a bit of damage. And that was pretty effective in that uh, we took them out quite quickly. Two fuel, 46 scrap, which is a good outcome. Um, are we going to be able to get to the distress beacon? We are, and then we can probably hit one, two, and then exit. Um, going to be a good time to do shield shortly as well, but let's see what this beacon is. We will lead them to their destination. We'll pick up a bit of scrap already. Oh, this is going to be quite hard to do. Um, I don't think it's going to be possible. We'll have a try. Okay, we can pick up Cloaking or Teleporter. Um, I'm not that keen on either of these weapons, to be honest. Um, they require two and three power, and they're not a beam, and they're not a flak, which I said I really wanted. This guy's good at fighting, so we could pick up him and Crew Teleporter, which would cost us 145, and then we could get a bit of fuel and do a bit of repairing. Or we can pick up cloaking. I'm gonna go with the fighting option. And spend all of our allocation. So we want our two mantises living in here now. We're now at maximum crew members. Um, this is tough. I, I know I could be making a big mistake here. But I kind of want to go for the quest beacon. Um, let's just work it out. They'll we'll probably get to here. We should only have to do one. We should only have to do one five. If we get one two, they're gonna get there, there. Yeah, like it's probably not worth doing, unfortunately. Um, we'll jump here regardless, see what we pick up. We need to upgrade our reactor. Get both drones out there. Um, we'll just clean up this human first. Then we'll do a little bit of boarding. They've just got two crew members, so it might actually be a good opportunity to try to take this ship out. There's a lot going on though. Uh, we might accept this. Just trying to think. They're in a bit of trouble. We've got both levels of our shield up. 26 graph isn't enough, so I'm not going to accept it. I'm going to wait. I want to man our uh, sensors up so I can see where they're at. I need to take out both of our drones so that we don't do any more damage to them. And then I'm going to get our Mantis in for a fight. Uh, I'm going to change our Ion Focus onto their weapon system. And we're going to get our guys out over there. Actually, no, that's a terrible idea, isn't it? Because they'll get hit by an asteroid and we'll lose our two crew members. Yeah, we should just take them out. Wow, I was that close to just giving up two crew members, which would have been really, really dumb. Pick up 45 scrap. I'm so, so thankful I didn't just do that. <laughs> I forgot we were in an asteroid field and I wanted to send them out there. Um, see if we could kill everyone on the ship and get the big scrap reward. But yeah, that would not have been smart at all. Mm, do I do it? Do I do it? No. For the sake of the run, I'm not going to do it. Even this is going to be pretty close. Almost want to get the tape measure out. I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm backing us, I'm backing us in. We're gonna be alright. I'm 
I'll be pretty annoyed though if we do have to get in a fight anyway. <laughs> At which point I could have just done the, the uh, quest beacon, but. Strap, that's a good reward, and we are just, just fine. Wow, look at that 50% of the beacon isn't quite over the line. So, finally, we catch a break after a, a couple of pretty average sectors. I'm pretty happy with that. Heard pick up a slug for 27, uh, sorry, a Zoltan for 27 scrap, which is a free reactor upgrade, really. I'm not sure who I'd get rid of, I'd probably get rid of Nausea. Let's do this, let's get rid of Nausea. Um, she's not really good at anything, and she doesn't provide any upgrade, so say goodbye to her. Thank you for your service, Nausea. Malot is gonna be our new man in here. What was the comment? There was, I had a comment about um, wasting a Zoltan. Let me just try and find it. Yeah, do not put them in mid bay, you're wasting a power bar, put them in engines or shields. Okay, cool. Thank you, Arfi. I'm gonna have Azoltan in. I don't really want to put him in. I can probably put him in shield, even though this guy is half leveled up on shield. And we'll put our rock man as the new doorman. Um, okay, so we haven't got cloaking, like I said, and we haven't got level 3 shields, like I said. But. We're not in a terrible situation. We're going to avoid the nebula and go the mantis um, route. This is the sector where we're going to start seeing big scrap rewards, which is good. And we're, we're, we're pretty geared up for a fight now, with the exception of having a weapon. Um, so despite everything that's been thrown at us, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Uh, we will eat the civilian ship here. We've been boarded, so we'll take this guy out first. We want to get... Oh, why did I do that? It didn't matter, I guess. Get our two drones out there, start hammering away on the shields. We're going to get a big hit by a missile, unfortunately. Did take down a level of our shields. So what are they down to? They're down to two crew members. We could... Stop attacking them and send our crew members out there to board, but I don't think we'll do that. Um, just because they've done a bit of damage and we're down to a red hull. So we'll wipe them out. They didn't even offer to surrender. Luckily that missile missed. We picked up 37 scrap and we attempt to contact the civilian ship, we give us another 37 scrap and a couple of fuel. So up to 41 missiles now, which I still have no need for whatsoever. Might even be worth us picking up a missile weapon actually, considering the way this is going. Finally, just as I say it, perfectly. We can sell 15 missiles for 35 scrap. It's not a huge reward. I would have rather one of the ones where you choose how much you give them um, and they're really happy that we gave them so much and we get an awesome upgrade, but Look, that only put a dent in the 41 that we had anyway, and we pick up a bit of scrap. So now's a good time. Shields up. And the extra reactor power probably won't hurt since we're now powering the uh, teleporter. So we'll take the points out of here. We'll upgrade shields a couple of times. We need to have seven ready, which I think we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, even eight. Okay, cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I did just blow all of our scrap, but level 3 shields are important. We just need a weapon. Preferably two weapons. Might want to avoid this ship, just because our hull is quite low. I'm going to do it. Not ideal. We do need the scrap from a fight, but we do need to heal up. A couple of intruders on board. They're targeting our oxygen. Um, and they might actually get it, so we're going to send up. Yeah, we need to shut these doors. Send our two mantis in here to fight. Can I shut that door? No. Okay. We send the Engi in here to fight with the mantis while the other mantis gets our oxygen back up. That's probably the smartest play. Put a point in our med bay to make the fight a little bit easier. Can now shut these doors, which is good. Um, they're gonna go down. I'm gonna pull both of our guys out actually. Let him waste his time trying to break through there. Our oxygen is now back up and running, which is good. These guys should have been waiting down here to heal up. Um, once they get to about half health and this guy breaks through, we'll go through and finish him off. I can even send in the other Mantis to make things a little bit quicker as well. 
But no reward there again. Um, I think that's the fourth station we've had where we get into a fight. And we don't get rewarded for our efforts, but... What can we do? What can we do? Nearly healed back up. We really need an opportunity to get our hull back up and running. Um, probably want to drop a bit of strap into that. We're not going to be able to avoid a fight here, unfortunately. Might have to send our two guys out, actually, to cause a bit of trouble where the shields are, and I just need to keep an eye on them and make sure that our drones don't um, get our guys' health down too low. Like now, they need to run, they need to run, they need to run, they need to run. I'm not going to be able to bring them back for a little bit. Um, okay, so if I take both drones offline, make a run for this back room, I might just be able to survive in time. No. Okay, it's really Jonesy I'm worried about. Jonesy's getting low. I need to wait till this gets to zero. We can pull these guys back out. Do I make a run for it? I might make a run for it back down to this room. They're going to take a little bit of damage on the way. They can keep running, 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 they can keep running. And we can pull them out. Send our combat drone back out there. Luckily both their weapons missed, so we didn't take any damage, um, and we didn't lose a crew member. So 54 scrap and 3 fuel, which is good. Really need a store so that we can heal up. Um, that got a little bit hectic, still glad we did it, it was fun. Um, kind of distracted them a little bit as well so they couldn't repair the things that we'd already damaged. We just need a chance to heal and I'll be happy. Which one's going to open up the most options? I'm going to jump to this one here, because if there's a store nearby, this one will tell us. Ah, uh, this would only get us in a fight, so let's send it back. Okay, we found the store. Gonna have to go there first, even though it's not the most practical route. Um, yep. I don't like being in Red Hole. And please tell me they have a weapon we can pick up. A pike beam, perfect. So we'll grab that. And we will... Repair our... A uh, hole back to 14. If I, should, I should be able to go here and then get to like these two and then back to the exit, I think, which isn't terrible. Um, gonna be a bit low on fuel, but that can be a problem for the next sector, which is okay. Um, I'm gonna sell three for 12. I don't really want to go any lower than that. Might just ignore it completely. 12 scrap is nothing. I'm gonna ignore it. Uh, distress beacon, and then we're gonna have to go back to the exit, I think. Send the crew to help. Nothing. The reason I did that when I normally don't is because there was a chance that we would lose a crew member, but we'd only go down to seven. We've got a pretty large crew as it is. Uh, this beacon's actually safe, so we're going to be able to get to this one before we jump to the exit. Although we're going to get to the exit with zero fuel. That wasn't smart at all, was it? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay. Uh, um, I'm gonna need to jump to the store, buy some fuel, and then go back. I can't jump to the store. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Ah, uh, no. We're gonna wait with the distress beacon off. We get ourselves into a fight. Okay. So they've sent a couple guys to us, so we're gonna get in a fight here, which is okay. We need to get both our drones out, start taking down their shield. We really need to win this fight because uh, we have no fuel. So we're going to keep the med bay powered. Um, we're going to send these guys to the med bay, heal them up, and then we're going to do a bit of boarding. It's taking a lot of damage there. Um, let's get these guys. Oh, no, wrong guy. You need to go there, you need to go there. Let's all hand back to the shields, please. We need to put three shields up. Okay, all of our drones are down, so our best chance of doing damage is getting the engine Engi up here. There's no point having him really without any fuel, um, and we need to board. 
So we might actually win this fight by taking these two guys out. I think that's probably what's going to happen. Alright, I'm going to switch to attacking their weapons with their Ion Blast, make sure that we don't take too much more damage. I'm going to get the Rockman in here as well so that shields recharge a little bit faster. We're in a lot of trouble now. They're healing up. They're going to be able to heal up. We're not going to be able to jump. This could be the end. Um, we can get our drones back out there. That's good. That's progress. We need to get our guys back on the move. We need to get our guys back on our ship. Keep hitting their shields now. Um, all we can really do is pray here. Keep shields up. Keep probably three people in the shields room. And hope that our drones take their, their ship out. Which they might actually manage to do. Luckily that missed because that was a really big hit. I think we're gonna get I think we're gonna get away with this just. With four hull. We're just gonna escape. So we're gonna pick up what? One fuel? Three fuel. Great. Okay, we can jump. Next sector. Next sector is gonna be pirate controlled. We're gonna hit the stop button, guys. We're at 46 minutes. Tune in to the next part of the episode. See if we can get our first win with the Engi Cruiser. I've got a pretty good feeling about this one. Despite all of our luck, our bad luck, we're coming out on top. Stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, episode 2 will be right after this.